everybody. Thank you for joining me. I do truly appreciate it. Today I get to take a look at a book I got in the mailbox. The Friendly Neighborhood Mail Lady hooked a brother up and delivered this to me directly from Mysterious Bookshop in the city of New York, which I've never been. This came to me here in Central Florida. But it is one of my absolute favorite authors that ever wrote a book, and that is F. Paul Wilson. Uh, I got a collection here of F. Paul Wilson books. From top to bottom, stuff full, creator of the famous and one of my very favorite characters, Repairman Jack. Repairman Jack started out, uh, originated in this book right here called The Tomb, pardon, The Dust. This is a Whispers Press edition. This was the first edition of the book, sprayed page edges on top, kind of a neat little edition. And it's strange how the this side limited edition was actually signed on the end papers right there. So this was a limited edition of the tomb where Repairman Jack started. Repairman Jack is often described as an urban mercenary. He's the kind of guy that, that lives like truly a free man in the city of New York, which may not be quite so easy to do, especially these days. But a guy that says, you know, I have a code... I want to live my life my way. Don't hurt people and don't let people hurt me. And for a living, he lives off the grid, so no social security card. He pays sales taxes sometimes, uh, but he makes a living by fixing problems for people called Repairman Jack, a name that's given to him, a moniker that's given to him by a friend. But uh, he doesn't repair lamps. He doesn't repair stoves or dishwashers. He fixes problems that other people can't help you with. Whether it be the police can't help you because you're scared to go to the police because you might not be perfectly in line with the law or the police won't help you because it's just not something that they're going to be getting involved in or what have you. But he fixes problems and one of my very favorite characters, a great long series of books, started with The Tomb in 1984 and then there were many, many sequels. Uh, written to the book. Originally, it wasn't written as a series. It was written as a standalone book, but it was also later fit into the adversary cycle. So a complex web of how these things work, but there's a long series of Repairman Jack books, starts at the tomb, ends at Night World, and there are also short stories mixed in throughout as well that are published in different collections. It also fits into the adversary cycle, which also uh, includes books like The Keep, The Touch, Reborn, Reprisal, and then also ends in Night World. But that's uh, that's enough of a review about that. The reason I bring all that stuff up is this book is kind of a review of Repairman Jack. And let's stop talking and let's start opening. So this thing comes from the Mysterious Press, Mysterious Bookshop. I think they're kind of together. And affiliated and perhaps the mysterious press is the publishing wing of the mysterious bookshop but they can explain how that works to you if you really want to know call them up ask them about it but i've gotten quite a few books from them uh some of my favorite authors besides f paul wilson like joe lansdale like lawrence block i've got some stuff from them of theirs they publish uh the biblio mysteries sun tup editions did a collection of a few biblio mystery stories and i got that as well but they do quite a few of them and typically they make littler books somewhat basic in design but limited edition stuff and i like it they do authors i collect and when they do authors i collect i try to collect them and that's uh, i guess that's where we'll go with that but this is a neat little edition i didn't realize it not only did i get the signed limited numbered edition of this book but as well a reader soft cover edition so that's cool let me open it up and see uh, i think it's just the plain regular old there you go repairman jack f paul wilson plain soft cover edition i think these were six or seven bucks 8.95 8.95 on their website and it's thrown in free when you buy yourself a numbered edition these numbered editions are flat sold out I think there's one lettered edition left. Now, I don't know specifically for these, but on their Biblio Mysteries, I have numbered editions and I have one lettered edition. 
and you want to know the difference between the numbered editions and the lettered editions, the lettered has a letter, the numbered have numbers. But the lettered cost about twice as much. for So for this was $50. The lettered edition, I don't know. I think it's the same thing, but it's lettered instead of numbered. Cost $100. Might be wrong on this. Again, I have the Biblio Mysteries ones, and that was the case there. But this is a mysterious profile of Repairman Jack by F. Paul Wilson. Uh, so a book that kind of explains the Jack character, the origins of the, the character and such as that. And uh, I just had to have it. So the numbered, like I said, was 50, lettered is 100. Their website says there's one lettered edition left, no more numbered editions. And then you can get the soft covered copies for $8.95 if my memory serves. But let me get this dust jacket off. Stretch it out for you. Rather basic in design. It is thick, stiff paper stock, and uh, it, it looks neat. I think, I think this is a series of books on famous characters, and they do these series on them. And uh, I couldn't pass it up. Repairman Jack F. Paul Wilson. I just couldn't pass it up. So here's the book itself. A sort of a cloth boards, gold foil stamping on the spine looks good looks nice the the binding here let's see take a look small binding a sewed binding you see glue in there but it is a sewn binding uh flip through our signature page 26 lettered copies 100 numbered copies and mine is 21 of 100 signed in person by I, it's hard to say. I got to say my favorite author. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I've read more F. Paul Wilson books and I own more F. Paul Wilson books than any other author and a phenomenal writer with some phenomenal characters spanning a lot of different genres. Uh, let's open it up a little bit and show you what it looks like. Sort of a creamy page color. The text size is good, adequate, and that's a small book so it's a small sized book and it's uh 68 pages so it's 50 bucks for such a small book as a collector of repairman jack and f paul wilson i couldn't pass it up uh, but be, let it be known it is a little book <clears throat> author's note this profile contains spoilers towards the end if you've read the series that won't matter if, if you've picked this up out of curiosity by all means read it and familiarize yourself with jack i'll warn you when the spoilers begin so be warned i was looking to see if there's a table of contents telling the parts or chapters or items covered but it uh, it's basically the rundown on the repairman jack character f paul wilson from stuff i haven't read it but from stuff I've read before, F. Paul Wilson originated that story from a bad dream. You've heard of some authors saying that they dream their books up. But the story originated from a bad dream. And there's a scene in the book called The Tomb where Repairman Jack is up on a roof. And this monster, uh, I won't tell you any other than that, this monster's trying to kill him. He's up on a roof of a New York City building. No way off. Monster's trying to kill him. And the dream pretty much went there and then from that dream f paul wilson created this this book and then from that book he created this series that i do truly love and i'm sure enough glad he did so thank god for small favors now our friend and author f paul wilson has has had some rough times and he's kind of given these a little information out on his newsletter so i'm not telling secrets or anything but his wife passed away um i've never met her often described as a very wonderful lady that is so sad and I'm so sorry. And then later on, F. Paul Wilson suffered a stroke and he's suffering from the effects of the stroke, uh, aphasia. And I don't know all the symptoms that he has in there, but he's going through speech therapy and stuff. And he said he doesn't see himself ever being able to write again. I think he described it as barring a miracle I'll never be able to write again. So very, very sad. I hope the best for F. Paul Wilson. It sounds like he's got a wonderful family that is helping him out. And I hope that's the case. God, I hope so. You uh, you always hope that family comes through for you when you need it the most. Man, I hope, it's, I hope that's the case for my favorite author, F. Paul Wilson. But anyway, 
Uh, that's where we'll end this one. I can think of no more lies to tell. Thank you for your time. I do truly appreciate it. And say la vie, baby. Do-do.